Hello everyone and welcome back to the CO2 Rundown. I'm your host Chad Owens. Happy hump day. Uh, it's the middle of the week. And speaking of middle of the week, I want to give a huge shout out to Midweek for featuring uh, myself in the CO2 Rundown and Kiana Kayabiab of Star News Live of your Honolulu Star Advertiser. Uh, we made the cover uh, and we talked about uh, going digital and bringing the social media game uh, to our delivering our uh, broadcasting. So a uh, huge shout out to them. Thank you so much for that. And thank you all for tuning in today. We've got an exciting show for you. As always, let's dive on in to the CO2 Rundown. All right, starting out, uh, I'm going on a national level here. In the NFL, uh, probably the big news, J.J. Watt, now an Arizona Cardinal. Uh, I love how J.J. Watt announced that he was uh, signing in Arizona. Not sure if you guys seen how he did it, but it was a post that simply said, source dot me, right? No media, no, no other uh, you know, outlets got that information. J.J. Watt put that out. Uh, it was a picture of him in, uh, obviously, Arizona Cardinals gear in the weight room, and it just said source.me. That is epic, pure J.J. Watt fashion. He signed a two-year, I believe, uh, roughly $30 million. Uh, that's a big contract for someone that's been plagued with injuries the last few seasons, um, but still has a lot left in the tank. J.J. Watt is a fierce defensive end and definitely gonna add uh, a lot to that already potent Arizona Cardinals football team. And also, the Washington football team has announced that it's moving on and past its 50-year history of having a cheerleading team. Now, they have a co-ed dance team. Uh, I think that's kind of been what most teams are doing. It's real big in the NBA, uh, dance teams, co-ed, a lot more entertaining, I guess. Uh, But look, there's always a place for cheerleading, and I know... As cheerleaders, your goal is to make it to the highest stage, whether that's, hey, competitive cheerleading or being on an NFL football team. Well, you know the Dallas Cowboys are full of history, and I don't think they're ever going to be getting rid of their uh, cheerleading squad. But anyway, that's news uh, from the NFL. Let's move on. All right, and on a local level, Ferd Lewis has a story on the University of Hawaii football team building out uh, Ching Field for its on campus stadium. Uh, It's saying that it's going to be approximately a $3.1 million net that they could bring in to the athletic department. Um, You know, and this is a potential solution for the next one, two, possibly three more seasons uh, while the new, um, you know, Aloha Stadium Entertainment District uh, is being built. Now, I I like this approach because, man, you're talking about a, a stadium that they're trying to create for a 10,000 seat capacity. Um, I think that's going to create a big demand. Everyone's, it's, it's a new thing. So regardless if it's only 10,000 seats, I think a lot of people are going to want to come and experience this new, um, this new stadium, this new approach, this on-campus approach. I think the big thing that they're going to get out of this is a student body, right? With all the students right there on campus, that to me is is what they need to to build is the student following not just for football but for all sports and if you look around the the the, in the college games right and and across the country the student section at every stadium is wild right they're painted they're having a good time it's a party and that's the type of atmosphere that brings energy to college football and i think that's going to be what they're going to get and that's going to help them gain more of that, uh, that, that fan base because that's the fan base that we need to get right now. We need to get that, that younger fan base. We're always going to have our old faithfuls, always. But we need that, that new blood, that, that younger generation to come in and make it exciting. So they spread the words on social media. Hey, University of Hawaii football is the thing to do on Saturday nights. All right? so, so that's what it is. I'm looking forward to that. So make sure you guys check out the story in today's Honolulu Star Advertiser, by Ferd Lewis. 
All right, and check this out. University of Hawaii Beach Volleyball season is starting up. Uh, check out today's story by Jason Kanashiro, who dives a little deeper into that. And unfortunately, their season got wiped out completely last year because of COVID. So I know they're all excited to get back out there in the sun, spiking these balls, getting sandy. Look, that's, that's my kind of game. I'd be into that. Uh, and, and on the volleyball note, I just want to give another huge shout out to our men's volleyball team who is ranked number one in the country. Number one in the country. That's big time. So um, I know we're all behind you guys. Let's continue to show our support. All right, being number one isn't easy. Staying on top isn't easy. They got to continue to win games. And as the, the NCAA tournament rolls around, you know, we, we can, con well, the Big West, we got to win that. But look, we are climbing the charts and we can potentially win our first national championship in school history. So definitely looking forward to that. Make sure you guys continue to support. And for the University of Hawaii baseball team, um, they had their season opener on the road against number 15 ranked Arizona State. And Coach Trapp said that he was impressed with uh, their performance. Uh, what I like about this article that you're going to be able to read uh, by Steven Tsai in today's Honolulu Star Advertiser is that Coach Trapp talked about Aaron Davenport's changeup. He got into the pitching a little bit as he was a pitching coach. And, you know, he talked about how um, guys try to manipulate and change their grip for the change up and do different things. He says, you got to keep it simple, right? You throw it like a fastball. Um, look, I played a little bit of baseball. I don't know the ins and outs and all those little details, but if you're trying to learn more about that, make sure you guys check out the article in today's Honolulu Advertiser again by Steven Sai as he dives a little deeper into Coach Trapp's change up and how the University of Hawaii season opener on the road against Arizona State went. All right, and uh, that is it for sports. And as I close today, I just want to remind you all that today is Girls Day. And a special girl that I got to celebrate her birthday with yesterday, her sweet 16, my daughter Ariana. Uh, I had an opportunity to just sort of have a daddy-daughter day. Yep. Hashtag girl dad. Shout out to uh, Kobe Bryant for that one. Rest in peace, man. Um, look, being a girl dad to me is very, very special. And I got to take my daughter on her very first pedicure. And um, we got to have ice cream. And I got her a beautiful uh, ring from Maui Divers Jewelry. The ring was called Nalu, which uh, it was a water and sort of a wave pattern. Um, but look, it was, it was a beautiful day to be able to spend with her. And I know that she's going to remember that for the rest of her life, that her very first pedicure was with dad. And I'm an experienced person with the get pedicures. So uh, as you can see, uh, we had a very good time. And you know what, Ariana, happy birthday again. Daddy loves you so much. Happy Girls Day and happy Girls Day to all the women out there who are um, doing their thing. And yeah, happy birthday, Ari. Daddy loves you. And thank you all for tuning in to today's show. That is it for the CO2 Rundown. I'm going to see you guys on Aloha Friday.